Hi guys, Dane here, and today I have a very exciting unboxing. So this is from Heady Mix, Diverse Stories for Curious Minds. And uh, I have opened it, but I haven't looked inside yet, because I just opened it just to, I guess, to double check what it was. And this is, um, it's a new subscription box that has been um, created, basically. And they asked me if I'd be interested in featuring it. And I said I'd love to uh, receive the box if possible, do an unboxing, that sort of thing. And in particular, I think uh, Cats and Camera here on BookTube will be really interested in this one. So here we have the inside. It's cool how this is done with, um, you know, it's got the branded boxing, but it's also the delivery box as well. So we have this, that actually a lot more than I was expecting here. So maybe I'll just go through the letter here and show you one by one the books we've got. I'll read you the blurb as well. Welcome to Heady Mix's debut collection, Loud Silence, which brings together writers from the D slash deaf, oh, so it's uppercase or lowercase deaf community to showcase their characters, stories, and essays. I chose Loud Silence for two reasons. The first was that I realised, even as an avid reader, I had never knowingly read any works by someone from the deaf community. It's pretty true, I can only... Well, I can't think of any I don't think that were written by deaf authors. There's El Defo by, by C.C. Bell, but I think she's more kind of hard of hearing. She uses a hearing aid. And I can think of quite a few deaf characters, and funnily enough, they're all like Stephen King ones. I think Stephen King has quite often turned to deafness as something that's like a common fear for us all, you know? I wondered if other hearing people hadn't either, so I wanted to help change that. Secondly, when I began to research for the collection, reading books, short stories and watching videos, there were recurring and sad themes of isolation and of being ignored. However, for every story that focused on isolation, there was another that showed the strength and determination of a community that is perceived to be silent, that is constantly fighting against the stereotypes and barriers that make life more difficult than it needs to be. It occurred to me that the stereotype of silence, frequently attributed to the deaf community, is widely inaccurate and probably insulting. I delve more into why the phrase loud silence was chosen in the introduction to the anthology. I have had the privilege of communicating with the writers in this collection and I wish them the best of luck in their endeavours. If you like what you read, please do look the writer up and support their works. You'll receive an email soon with more details about each writer and where you can read more of their work, sometimes for free, or support them for their. And if not them, I hope Loud Silence inspires you to seek out more stories from the deaf community and will also help you on that front. The full website will be launched soon and as a founding member you'll have exclusive access to more stories, videos and interviews with the authors and others from the deaf community. Next you'll find a summary of each item in the Loud Silence collection and at the end there are details of our social media accounts where you can leave reviews and can share photos of you and your box. Doing so also gets you £5 off your next collection. Ishmael and His Sisters by Louise Stern tells the story of Ishmael, Rosie and Christina who are deaf like many in the rural Mexican Maya village in which they live. The deaf and hearing all communicate in sign language, which is reminiscent of the deaf community in Martha's Vineyard. Louise, who is fourth generation deaf on her father's side and third generation on her mother's, grew up thinking about the utopia of Martha's Vineyard. It seemed an almost mythical place and one in which her father talked about with, with his friends, saying that they should set up a town like that. Louise is also influenced by her travels in Mexico, which is where she wrote the novel and discovered surfing, romance, the village children, Taritas, Victoria, a hammock and sunsets over the beach. Ishmael and Sisters is a heady read, with sign language expressed at pace in a rhythmical way, words missing to show the grammatical differences between sign language and written English. It can appear confusing and difficult to succumb to Louise's writing, a prose immersive and almost theatrical in its delivery. But it is a rewarding read, and Louise's exploration of communication and language is one that we are privileged to experience. Being Greta by Maxine Sinclair is a book and genre I wouldn't normally go for, and there are parts of the book that remind me why. But I ummed and ahred for quite a while and eventually decided that even though this might not be the kind of book I'd normally recommend, Greta's story is one that should be shared more widely. Maxine is a British Sign Language interpreter and she also has a deaf husband, so the setup in Greta's story is one that you can easily see Maxine being exposed to. What I liked about the book is that Greta is just an average young woman with average young woman issues, things that we can all relate to having experienced or know someone who has. This is a familiar story in many senses, but with one difference, Greta is deaf. As such, the story becomes more about identity, how Greta deals with isolation, and how she navigates through the two worlds of deaf and hearing and the relationships she forms around her. Loud Silence features various authors and is curated by Heady Mix. Details about this and its writers are in the book's introduction. Uh, then, the greeting cards are by Katrina Sophia. I love Katrina's designs and hope you do too. You're the bee's knees, is simply because you are. And it may seem too early for Christmas cards, but the robin is adorable, and what better way to share the talents of this fantastic British artist than at Christmas. The Books with Balance Reading Journal was created by Heady Mix. Details about this are in the journal's introduction. 
Oh my lord, it is actually a reading journal. <laughs> oh, we got a wish list. This is beautiful, actually. Challenge number one, I accepted this challenge on blah, blah, blah. The book was author book rating, short summary of the book. Um, and we've got title, recommended by, favourite quote. And this is for all the different books. Okay, well this is interesting because I've literally just um, received some book mail from Time for Books. And I think she gave me a return address. So I might pop this and one or two of my books as a thank you to her. Uh, just because I don't really use reading journals. But it is, it's a really cool reading journal. I'm impressed with that actually. If you have any questions, ideas or feedback, you can email us at membership at headymix.co.uk. Also, please do share photos on your social media. I'd really appreciate your help in spreading the word about Heady Mix so that we can showcase underrepresented characters and authors to an even bigger audience. I'll email you with more details on how you can get a discount off your next box. Enjoy your reads and I'll be in touch by email soon with details of the full website and other exclusive content that you can enjoy. Thanks for your support. Stay curious. Justina, Chief Curator and Founder of Heady Mix. P.S. Get £5 off your next box when you post and share photos of you and your box. And we have some links here. I will also link to the website if it's up now and as much details as, uh, as I can so that you can find out more and uh, take out a subscription if you're interested. But um, yeah, I'm really honoured to have been chosen to, to unbox this as part of the, the first box. And I actually think... <laughs> I do really like this this reading journal. I think it's a very cool item, even though, as I say, I personally don't use reading journals. I also think these are cool, uh, this, you know, the loud silence themed um, collection that they've got, which is very cool. And obviously, I just hope they do that for each of the different boxes, because then you could build a, you know, full collection of those. Both of these sound interesting as well. The greetings card. I mean, just a very cool little little box. So, yeah, I enjoyed that been a while since I did an unboxing. So there we have it. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Check out the description for links, etc. to where you can find out more about the uh, Heady Mix boxes and the loud silence issue. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.